hello my country people welcome back to spice channel tv guys while i do so if peter obi talk problem go day if peter obi no talk problem go see day by your no no ga don't tackle peter obi's silence over the local government autonomy say peter obi never talk anything since the supreme court gave it to ruling granting the financial autonomy to all local government council across the federation so the nigerian presidency has criticized the labor party's presidential candidate peter obi for his silence they don't all say why peter obi never talk supreme court don't give these judgments we know here peter obi so peter obi don't they quiet for over 36 hours after the supreme court's ruling he be like saying no one talk about this one, Abi. Say Peter be they always see failure for where Tinibu administration day. Now where industry say something good don't happen, Obi no feel pull out talk anything. Bayo Nonuga said that a good opposition statesman will be willing to praise their political op uh, opponents when they have achieved something significant. The Tinibu administration has successfully given back, given life back to all local government council through the law. Even Atiku Abubakar has acknowledged this. But the great Peter Obi remains silent. He should break his silence, so he should break his silence and acknowledge that President Tinibu is making a great Nigeria possible. Now, Bayo Nonuga's criticisms comes after the Supreme Court ruling, which grants financial autonomy to all 774 local government councils in Nigeria. It should be recalled that the judgment delivered on Thursday, July 11, 2024, declared that declared it unconstitutional for state governors to withhold funds meant for local government administrations. The Supreme Court also barred governors from dissolving democratically elected local government councils, stating that doing so would breach the 1999 Constitution. The judgment ruled that only democratically elected council government administration, not caretaker committees, are entitled to manage their funds. And yes, amid this um, Supreme Court judgment, we've been seeing a lot of response from concerned Nigerians on how this would positively impact the local government and how it would also negatively impact, you know, uh, the state. But then, a lot of people have been earning their views. Atiku commended this. Atiku Abubakar was quick to commend this move by the Supreme Court. But then we have some certain persons who are busybody. When of he close their mouth, they don't come to say, now where something good don't happen, Obi no fi open my to say, ah, in don't see waiting happen, oh. Say Peter Obi no fi open my commend waiting the Supreme Court don't talk. Even Reno Mokri, on your own, still talking, you know, he said Peter Obi is so predictable. Earlier today, Obi has not commented or commended on the granting of the autonomy to the local government in Nigeria which is a landmark achievement of Tinibu's administration because he's not happy with good news about Nigeria. He is not happy with good news about Nigeria. He only wants to hear bad news about Nigeria. Few hours later, uh, Reno Mokri said Peter B proved him right, that he did not comment on anything concerning this uh, local government autonomy. But then he quickly commented on what happened what happened in Plateau just when a school building had collapsed? Obi had commented on that. He commented on that because it was a bad news. But he refused to comment on the local government autonomy because it was a good news. Peter Obi, Arise TV, and their obedient family only want to see negative news about Nigeria. They only want to hear, they hate to hear good news about Nigeria. But then, Obi has called... Oh, uh, Reno Mokri tagged Peter Obi, the obedient, and Arise TV as bad belay, as enemies of progress of Nigeria. 
So my country people, this is, you know, serious. So it seems that these people are so, so obsessed with OB that anytime OB breathes, they will be shaking. How come piece of suddenly has become a nightmare for Bayo Nonuga? How come Pito B has suddenly become a nightmare for Reno or Mokri? What is the problem of these guys? What is really their problem? If OB did not comment, how does it affect them? If OB comments, they will say OB has commented. If OB did not comment, now then go sit or say OB never talk anything. So which one way Pito B want do we go sweet them for body? Because for long. If Obi would comment on something, Pete Obi is just a consigned Nigerian. Pete Obi does not hold any political office in this country. Pete Obi does not hold any public office in Nigeria. I wonder why they are tackling this man with so much energy and so much passion. If they can use that energy they use in, ta- in tackling Pete Obi online, on social media, to channel it towards something positive, then Nigeria would be in a good place. I mean... We will see some improvement in our country. But no. Oh, uh, Rino Mokri and Bayo Nunuga have said no. They want to make sure they, you know, pull down Peter Obi. So my country people, Rino Mokri criticized Peter Obi for ignoring the positive news of the local government's autonomy and said that instead of that, Obi insisted on focusing on a school collapse accusing Peter B and Arise TV of preferring negative news about Nigeria rather than positive news. Same goes for Bayo Ononuga. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? It's very interesting that these guys are hell-bent on carrying OB's business on their head, you know. They are fond of Carrying obese business on their head, anything that concerns Peter or B, leave it for Reno Mokri and the uh, Bio Ononuga. You know, they are always there to advertise Peter or B, they are always there to backlash Peter or B, and all of that. So, the local government's autonomy has been in the constitution, but then the Supreme Court only interpreted the, the constitution, made it clear because the state government. We're trying to use a section of the Constitution in their own favor. The Supreme Court only straightened that local government autonomy, the, the financial autonomy. And now, they said this is an achievement by the Tinibus administration and such must be commended. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.